Tamil Nadu continues to have a spike in positive cases. Over the last 24 hours, 536 people tested positive. Three people have died, taking the Tamil Nadu's tally to 11,760 and 81 have lost their lives to Corona so far. And uh, two key clusters official cite as the major reason for this spike in Tamil Nadu. One, the Coimbedu market, which has been shut down now after at least 2,600 people picked up the virus from this vegetable market. Besides this, officials say another cluster in the urban slums in Chennai contribute to the spike and uh, around 26 lakh people live in these clusters. Very challenging situation as people do not follow the mask regulation. They also do not ensure social distancing and narrow lanes and very cramped houses make things worse there. And officials have now distributed 50 lakh masks in these areas, making sure everyone in this area will have at least two masks. And they've also roped in NGOs to raise awareness among the communities here. Although the numbers have gone high, Chennai alone now accounts for 60% of the Tamil Nadu's corona tally with 7,117 cases. But officials say... People need not panic with this rising number. They cite two reasons. One, the state has ramped up its testing. Number two, they've also launched an aggressive target, I mean, contact tracing, making sure all those people who are in the suspected ring of these positive cases would be followed up, tested, quarantined, and sent for hospital isolation if they test positive. And... Uh, of course, the worry among people is that this could be a kind of a community spread already. The government has also allowed salons across the state in rural pockets to be open from this morning, which means people in Chennai and other corporations like Coimbatore, Madurai, Salem will have to wait. But those in smaller towns, town panchayats and smaller villages will be able to go to these salons. And officials have given three major conditions. The barbers would have to wear masks and hand gloves all the time. The shops ought to be disinfected at least five times every day and the barbers themselves have to frequently wash their hands and they have to ensure that customers also would follow the social distancing norm. Men in Chennai and other big cities would have to wait a little longer or they may have to travel to the smaller towns to groom themselves. At the moment, no luck for women as parlours will not be open.